something happened before the Anaheim Ducks first Columbus Blue Jackets game that we have never seen before. No, I'm not talking about the power outage that almost ruined the NHL's first ever frozen frenzy where all 32 teams play on one night. I'm talking about number two overall pick Leo Carlson being healthy scratched for the second consecutive time, not for being bad or missing a team meeting, but for scheduled games off. But not scheduled, right, Frank? It seems load management has finally made its way to the NHL. (laughs) Yes, that term in the NBA that no one wants to hear and has become such a problem in the league that they have had to implement strict rules to stop the overuse of it. Now, the concept of load management in the NHL isn't entirely new, as players will occasionally rest before their team starts the playoffs. Or with the more recent trend of goaltenders sharing the workload and not having one play 65 plus games like in the past. But never has it happened this early in the season, and especially not for someone so young. Now, it's not unusual to see a rookie be scratched for lackluster play, but that has been far from the case for the young career of Carlson, as he has arguably been the Ducks' best player when in the lineup. The agreed-upon plan with Carlson, according to Pierre Lebrun, is to play two games a week for the first two months of the season, and then reevaluate. Could this be a trend more NHL teams take with their young prospects? Hey, you kidding me? Come on. I will say, the thing with Carlson is that he played more hockey last year compared to the other top prospects. And a majority of those games were against grown men as he played in the SHL, not juniors or the NCAA, on top of also having to adjust to several things, including the physicality of a smaller ring size and increasing the number of games played per week. And let's not forget, he started the season injured as he missed the first two games of the season. Who knows if there are any lingering effects from that? Although, according to Ducks reporter Derek Lee, it doesn't seem to be. The idea of load management for a league who has built a culture of playing through pain and winning at all costs. Seems rather barbaric, but I think this could be the start of the changing of the tides. It will never get as bad as the NBA. At least, I hope not. But what do you all think? Is this just the start of what's to come in the NHL in the future? Let us know in the comments down below. I have already mentioned that last night's Ducks vs. Blue Jackets game started disappointingly, with us being denied the first installment of Carlson vs. Fantilli. And it seems the Ducks were just as disappointed as they played a penalty-filled, terrible first period. And the Jackets would cash in on one of those penalties with an absolute laser shot from Benstrom. And in the second, the Ducks would kind of wake up playing a more even period. And in fact, they would tie the game late in the second with a great rush. A little poke from McTavish sends Minty up the ice and he makes the simple play, shooting it into the goalie's pads, creating a rebound for Strom who chips the puck up high. In the third, who else would score but Adam Fantilli, giving himself a two-point night and a big middle finger to the Ducks, some would say, but he didn't want to come to Anaheim anyway. When that happened, I felt this game was over. This team could not score goals right now. But guess who came through? Our version of Connor McDavid, Brett Leeson. Just a great shift from the fourth line to tie the game late. And then this game would head to overtime where both teams had chances. But who else would score? Then our leading scorer, Frank the Tank, on the break, and he does not miss. Just a great pass from Bo Grew, by the way. I will say, this was probably Anaheim's worst game of the season. So naturally, they come out with the two points. Gotta love hockey. Give the Ducks credit, though. They never gave up and found a way to win this game. The main issue with last night's game, and I may sound like a broken record at this point, was penalty discipline. Yes, the refs were bad. And in fact... I think I want to make a video on all the calls that have been called on us so far this season, because there have been quite a few that have been very iffy. Let me know if that's something you want to see. But still, at the end of the day, you cannot put yourself in the position to get those calls against. Of course, we also have to mention Trevor Zegers was benched for the entirety of the third period, and he deserved every minute of that benching. He made four blind pass turnovers in the second period, and one of them led to a great chance for the Jackets. This was Z's worst game. The points have not been coming but he has not been bad in the games prior. His timing is just off, and one has to wonder if switching between left wing and center, with Leo being in and out, has something to do with that. Same can be said with Terry. It's hard to build chemistry with all the line changes. But in true Z fashion, he was the happiest after the win and gave Frankie a little face washing. Another little tidbit that came out today, Robert Hag has been recalled from the goals. Did someone else get hurt last night, or is Leno getting sent back to juniors? I guess we'll find out Thursday, 
as the Ducks take on the Boston Bruins for the second and last time this season at 4 p.m. One would think we get to see Leo in this game, but who knows? Make sure you like and subscribe as we're trying to overtake the Anaheim Ducks official YouTube channel this season. Thank you for watching and go Ducks!